Hi, Taping here. How are you today? Today, Derek Chauvin murder trial will begin. I can't wait for it to, to begin and to be over, so the nation can start to heal. It's such a tragedy that uh, a man died, many businesses burned and damaged, four police officers on trial, and now I feel the possibility of a second round of rioting if an acquittal would be delivered after the Derek Chauvin murder trial. The tragedy could have been avoided by either Mr. Floyd or by the police officers. Had Mr. Floyd not gotten out of the car after police officers put him in, um, none of the things, these things would have happened. Had police officers used their brain power instead of physical power um, to talk to Mr. Floyd, give him 10 minutes, 30 minutes, even one hour, talk him into willingly going, to, going back to their car to police station, none of these things would have happened. Now police officers would have been on trial. Now one of their lives would have been ruined by criminal trials. But that's not the reality. Uh, first, Derek Chauvin is on trial for murder of um, Mr. Floyd. So what are the odds of Derek Chauvin uh, being acquitted or convicted. Let's look at police integrity, integrity research group's uh, findings. Things the beginning of 2005 through June 24, 2019, there have been 104 officers arrested for murder or manslaughter resulting from an on-duty shooting where the officer shot and killed someone throughout the United States. To date, 35 out of 80 have been convicted of a crime resulting from the on-duty shooting. That's 44% of conviction, 56% of acquittal. In the cases where an officer has been convicted, it's often for a lesser crime. According to Statista.com released report in June 2020, 11 out of 42 convicted officers were convicted of manslaughter. That's 26% of all the convictions, and only 5 out of 42 officers were convicted of murder. That's 12% of all the convictions. So look, if Derek Chauvin was convicted at the end of the trial, very likely he would be convicted of manslaughter instead of murder. But I'm leaning on an um, acquittal. It will be very hard for the state to prove guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. The biggest doubt um, comes from Mr. Floyd's behavior and toxicology report. When the police officer asked Mr. Floyd to put his hands on the wheel, at first he put only his left hand on the wheel, his right hand he was using to reach something in the car. And finally, when he put his right hand on the wheel, he also put his face on the back of his hands for a moment. When he lifted his head up and uh, turned around to talk to the police officer, there was, a, uh, there was a peel on his tongue. So technically, this kind of image can be doctored. So it will be interesting to see if there will be such an evidence admitted during the trial. 
and uh, uh, the biggest doubt it is confirmed by Mr. Floyd's toxicology report. Uh, it was found there was 11 nanogram per milliliter uh, fentanyl in his blood. And uh, death by overdose is certified at 3 nanogram per milliliter in the blood. So it will be very hard for the jurors to cast aside this huge cloud and uh, deliver a guilty uh, murder verdict for um, Derek Chauvin. The other factor that people was talking about is the 27 million civil settlement between Minneapolis City and uh, 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 Mr. Floyd's family. A lot of people, including um, two jurors that were ultimately um, excluded from the, the, the seated jurors, they think that indicate um, Derek uh, Shulman is guilty of um, uh, wrongdoing. However, I think oppositely uh, because it, it shows the city feels something was wrong, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's Derek Shulman's fault because um, putting weight on the suspect uh, that way is either in the police training menu or verbally taught to them or um, they have been practicing that all along all these years but the city and the police department failed to review their officers practice failed to correct them if they think um, that's something they shouldn't be doing. So I think the city and the police department should be on trial, not an individual um, officer. Um, in fact, I think, um, I feel for uh, Derek Shaw, I think he should uh, somehow sue the city or the police department maybe. Um, I was, he was um, given this um, responsibility and uh, he was, Maybe have been, he and his colleagues maybe have been doing that all along, but nobody said it's not okay. So, I I I hope. Um, I mean, no matter what happens, Mr. Floyd uh, cannot uh, show up alive again, and uh, uh, these police officers' lives are temporarily uh, ruined. Um, if there is a guilty verdict. I, I think that's kind of very sad. So um, we'll see um, what the result um, will be. And the whole world is watching the trial. I hope you will uh, watch it too um, if you are um, interested in justice. I think it's related, uh, relevant to all of us. Um, that's it for today. I wish you Peace, safety, and health. Bye-bye. See you next time.